Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. If you are, my name is Jay May. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So, I'm really excited to share this braid tutorial slash styling inspo. This hair is from Bobby Boss and is one of their newer products, which is why I'm so excited to share it with you guys. This is their King Tips braiding hair. And what is so cool about it is that it's pre-curled. The hair comes with the ends already curled. So you don't have to do any work after braiding. It's literally so easy. This particular one that I have in my head is meant to match 4A curls. But they also have two other textures. I believe 3C and a 3A. So this one is their tightest curl. So you do have a lot of options there. I went with the kinkiest texture and I really like the way that it turned out. This is the way that it comes. It comes in a pack with three bundles, I guess you would, I think they're called, but they're, are they still called bundles? This hair actually comes in 12 inches. So I've, I've never done short braids before and I've never seen anything like this with the kinky curly tip so that's why i'm super excited to share with you guys how i achieved this look i do think that different techniques will yield different results because there are so many different ways that you can style these so if you would like to see how i achieved this exact look then keep on watching okay so i just went ahead and put the hair up in a bun it looks so cute like this like i can't wait to show you guys all the ways that i have styled it i just went ahead and unbraided the one that i'm redoing and i'm going to show you guys exactly how i do it step by step so the first thing that you're going to do is you're obviously going to part the hair and i will show you guys how i do that a little bit later so i'm just going to break it up into three small pieces from smallest to largest and these are knotless braids if i haven't specified already i'm going to start off i have my smallest piece and then i have one that's a little bit bigger and then i have the thickest piece smallest to largest okay so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to start the braid as normal i would do this for just like a couple down like three braids down so then you're going to take the smallest piece and you're going to put it in between you're going to add it to these two pieces right here so you're just going to add it in and then you're just going to braid it as normal okay so now you're getting to the part where the strand without the added hair is out so you're going to add in the next piece i always add it to the middle piece and then this outer piece so now i'm adding this piece to the middle and then the strand that didn't have any braiding hair so now all three will have the braiding hair or they should if all three have the braiding hair after you add the second strand then you're on the right track You'll notice that one of them is a little bit thicker than the other two. So that's where you'll put in the last piece. So the last strand will go right again in between the middle and the outer um, strand. And it'll be the two thinner pieces so it'll you'll know which one to add it to. So those are your three pieces. So you basically already have all of your pieces in and now you just need to braid it down. So just go ahead and braid it down as normal now this is where you'll take your gel when you get down to your natural hair so i just take a little bit of my gel where my hair ends so that it doesn't poke out from the braiding hair i do want to mention though that if your hair is longer you're going to want to start adding the braiding hair a little bit later down the road this braiding hair is a lot shorter than the hair that you might be familiar with so you want to make sure that when you're done with your braid all of your hair is protected my hair isn't that long right now so it's not much of a concern for me but i just wanted to throw that out there because you don't want to get down to this point and then your natural hair is like down here if you catch what i'm saying so now that we're getting down to the bottom here where the curls begin this is where you can kind of decide how far down you want to braid it. It's obviously up to you. I decided to just stop it right where it starts. There are so many different ways that you can do this. At first, I started by just taking a little piece 
of the hair, wrapping it around and tying it, and that does work. I then decided that I wanted to go through and add rubber bands for extra security, and that was just my personal decision, and I'll explain why I did choose to do that. Get a heavy duty one, okay? This one, I don't know if you could tell, but it's like thick, and it's not going to break. So as you can see, it is very full. Now, if you want to leave it full, that's completely up to you. I personally decided that I wanted to just thin it out a little bit on the ends. I'm going to, I decided how thin I wanted it to be. So like, in my opinion, this is kind of like what the thickness that I was looking for. So sectioning it out, that means that all of this gotta go. I just sort of cut it right at the base. And now you're left with this bit, which is what I wanted. So at that point, I decided that I wanted to go in and just enhance the curls a little bit just because, you know, you have been braiding it, tampering with it a little bit. So that's where I go in with my foaming wrap lotion and it's almost gone. But I did use this to just all over the ends so that I can define the curl just a little bit more. As you can see, that really just brought the curl to life. It. that's literally it it literally is so easy to do out of all of the braids that I've done like I've been able to get through these the quickest I think partially because they are shorter so you're not braiding for as long and then also I decided personally not to dip the hair you can dip it in hot water if that's what you so choose but I personally just feel like it does kind of loosen the curl pattern just a little bit so this is just the method in which i personally found to be the best one for me and the look that i was going for i will show you guys the way that i do the back of my head and then i'm going to get into some hairstyles so i'm really excited about that Okay, I get so many questions on how I do the back of my head you have to have two mirrors guys you have to have two mirrors like that is the only way that you can really get away with getting your parts straight. I luckily have two mirrors in my bathroom. So my medicine cabinet mirror and then the main mirror. So I sit on the counter and I kind of open up the medicine cabinet so that I can see the back of my head. So I use both of those mirrors. If you don't have that, you can always buy a handheld mirror. They're super cheap on Amazon. And I have used that method before when I did not have that sort of setup and it works just the same. Another important tip for doing the back of your head is you have to use gel. I would highly suggest getting a rat tail comb for parting and basically just parting your hair, sort of guesstimating where the part should be. Once you sort of get it, have a rough idea of where you want the part to be, you just run some gel along the part. Once you run some gel along the part, it will create a, I don't know how to explain it, but it'll make it a lot easier for you to go through with your parting comb and just kind of cut through it. And it, it will make it so crisp. That's the best way that I can explain how to part the back of your head. Those are my tips. Okay, so that pretty much concludes today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really feel like this braiding hair is going to become the next new thing, to be honest with you. I know that like these sort of bohemian style braids are really popular right now. The sort of undone sort of ends and wavy ends and like all that stuff. And I've never actually seen inky curly ends. And I really do think that like this is what's next. I heard it here first. No, but I really do love this style. I was worried at first, especially with the kinky curly 
of all the textures. I was worried that it would be um, hard to braid, it would like tangle up, and I didn't really get much of that. I mean, here and there, you know, like when you mess up a braid, it happens, but as far as the braiding process, it was really smooth. It didn't take that long at all to complete. Yeah, I really hope that you guys like this video. I hope that you love this hairstyle as much as I do. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join the gang. I will catch you guys in my next video.